a coroner's inquiry, nothing major. But there was a uh, inquiry or investigation, so to speak, by Bob Ray in in Canada, which was just a sham, a cover up. I remember flying to Canada for the trial, the criminal trial, and I, you know, offered up as a witness. And after days of investigation of of uh, testimony, they found them not guilty, and that was like, you know, I remember saying who, that. Who, who did they find not guilty? Uh, Bagri and, and Parmar. Everybody walked. Only Rehat was found guilty on a much yeah. lesser charge. You yeah. see, for blowing up 329 people, uh, all the accused got away. They were, they were found not guilty by trial. And I'll tell you this. If that was a plane full of white people, they would have been found guilty and hung. I know Canada doesn't have hanging, but they would have been put behind bars for life. That was the first fact. The second thing is, in any other part of the world, the evidence against these two would have been conclusive to 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 prosecute them and 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 hold them guilty. They weren't. And I felt after years of fighting for a case, you know, our families died again, all over again. We yeah. came back and then we kept lobbying again, and nobody listened to us. I think by some quirk of fate. Uh, Stephen Harper came into power in Canada and uh, I think the families met him and impressed upon him that we need a full-fledged commission and I think that commission worked for quite a few years. It was under a su retired Supreme Court judge, Justice John Major. And mm. uh, again, but you know, one I, of the things one of the things you just said was if it, that was a plane full of white people, the, the, those, yes. the men who did this would have been hung metaphorically, yes. though Canada doesn't yes. have the death penalty. Many of them were Canadian citizens, but most of them were Indian Canadians. Is that yes. the difference? Well, the difference was in those days, nobody cared about whether you were Indian, Canadian or anything if you were not Caucasian. Let's be honest. I'm talking about the 80s. I'm not talking yeah. about 2020. I'm talking about the 80s. And maybe a large number of them were immigrants. And I've said this, you know, even in the media 20 years ago, 30 years ago, I remember going on, you know, uh, news channels there saying that it was pure discrimination. The point is, when you had so much of advanced information, how do you allow a plane, one plane full or two possibly plane fulls of, of human beings to, to be blown up? So everybody walks. The The weird thing is that Ripu Daman Malik, who's one of the accused, actually gets killed last year in a kind of similar way to which Har 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 Hardeep Singh Nijir gets killed. Uh, Terry Wilowski thinks this could have been gang war between the two. We don't know. And you are there as this man fighting for justice who's lost his entire family. And you see everybody walk. And the one man who gets convicted serves only two thirds of his sentence. Yeah. And, and what does he, he get convicted for? Nothing. Yeah, he gets yeah. convicted for make for not admitting he made the bomb, but as an accessory to a bomb making. Do you yeah. know he didn't get convicted for killing all these families of mine. He didn't get. If I'm not, for if I'm not wrong, he got a nine-year sentence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, he and and he didn't even serve the full nine-year sentence. Well, he was released on parole. Uh, Correct. A couple of years ago, and then I think he was he was killed by. Somebody in Canada, you know, it's it's uh, I I remember that uh, quite vividly.